so today is Wednesday, April the 25th. We're going to, I'm going to start by going over last night's homework. I'm going to go very detailed um, for the reason of some kids have been out testing various things. Um, and I'm going to also be showing you what is what I call required to make a good grade, okay? Um, now, we're going to start out, let me just kind of start out. You would do, we're finding surface area. Okay, so this is the homework from Tuesday night. Here we go. First off, this shape is a rectangular pyramid. Yes. Now, this one is drawn a little weird, but I will say that it is the same as this one. All it is, is it is just cut out a little differently. It still has the middle box, square, rectangle, and then it's got the four triangles. They just cut it differently. They folded it differently. Okay. Now, I usually start with the easiest number first, the easiest shape first, which to me is this box or this square. Um, the area of this, the formula would be base times height. Now, our base is five. What's our height? Five. five. So, five times five? Twenty-five. 25. Now, that twenty-five only stands for this blue box. That's why I kind of just put it in there. Okay? It doesn't do anything for these triangles. Now, looking at the triangles, you need for the formula base times height divided by two for every triangle. So, what is this base? No. Five. Five. Listen, you've got to be able to what I call move these numbers around. If this is five, this is five. Now, if we were to fold this thing up, this would be the same length as that. They would be touching. They would literally be touching. So, it's kind of like this. Right here, these two walls are touching. So if one was five, the other one's five, okay? So the math here would be the base is five, the height is eight. Look, the height right here would be eight. You see that? Okay, so five times eight divided by two, which would be 40 divided by two, which is 20. Now, this triangle's 20. Now look, this would still be a 5, and the triangle's height would be the same. So it would also be 20. The next one would be 20, and the next one will be 20. Now, I need to show you something. This is the minimum amount of work that I can have. Um, meaning, you got to show me the formula for that triangle, how you filled it in and you worked it out. Show me the formula for the square of the rectangle how you worked it out. Then, in the end, to find surface area, you add it all up. All of them. All this. So the final answer is 105 centimeters squared because area is always squared. you got to add them all up. I think of it as like how much cardboard would it take to make this shape? So you would need 105 centimeters squared cardboard. Any questions on that one? Okay, let's look at number two. Now, yesterday I asked you to add a T to this word for congruent. Congruent meaning that all the triangles are the same size. There's your lovely keywords there, context clues, okay? On a triangle, we know we need base times height divided by 2. Okay, my base is right here. It is 20. My height is 15. Okay, that gives me 300 divided by 2, which is 150. Now, 150 is one triangle. 
it is, if they're all congruent, that means that they are all the same. They're all 150s. So, add it all up, that would be 600 millimeters squared. Okay, and the shape is a triangular pyramid. Remember, pyramids would come to a point, prisms are flat on each end. Okay, any questions on that one? I really don't mind. Is everybody okay? Okay. Um, yeah, that one to me was easy. I can't lie. Okay, looking at the next one. This is where I need your brain to what I'm going to call kind of slow down and make sure that the numbers, I guess you say, are what you think they are. We don't ever need to assume that they're all the same shape or the same numbers, okay? So, taking one box at a time. I usually do take the easiest ones first. Um, this one is a three by three. And I know that the formula is base times height, which is three times three, times, not added, times, which is nine. Now, this one is also... 3 by 3, which is 9. Okay, that was the first mistake. I've had a lot of kids have 6 there because they added it. Don't do that. Okay, now, this is the next step. I want you to think about it. If this is 3, what is this? 3, because they would touch. So, this rectangle right here is a 3 by 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Base times height, 3 times 7, 21. And I'll tell you, I'm not real stressed over, like, if you switch those. Just show me the formula. Show me the numbers you're working with. Okay. Now, don't assume anything. Uh-huh. Okay, you can. I just use that as a folding point or a cutting point because it would give you the same answer, right? Okay, so like this one, if this was 3, this is still 3, right? This is still 7, so 3 times 7 is 21. All it is is I want you to check the numbers. You'll see why in a few minutes. There's sometimes your eyeballs, they can deceive you. If this is 3, this is 3. 3 times 7, it is still 21, but my brain is still just, you know, double checking, whatever you want to call it. 3 times 7, 21. So then to find the final, final surface area, you add it all up. 102 inches squared. And this thing is a rectangular... Prism. Okay. So, any questions on that one? Okay. Last one. This is the one it might have gotten you. Okay. On number four, one of the hardest concepts has been that if this wall is 13, that this wall is also 13. Because honestly, like if I, if you fold the two walls and you touch them, so they're folding and they're touching, they are the same length. Okay? So, once again, if this wall's 13, this wall's 13. Okay? Listen, if you need to write numbers on your paper, like move this 21 to right there, that is fine. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Okay. Now, so I'm going to start just kind of filling it in. This rectangle is a 21 by 13, which is 273. 
I'm going to go in, base times height, 21 times 13 equals 273. Okay, now, like I said earlier, you want to check each one. This one is a what? 10. 10 by 21. 10 by 21. I realize that the picture looks the same, but you got to go with the numbers. 10 times 21 is 210. Okay, now I'm going to do the last one. This one is a 13 times 21, which I have up here, so I can just copy 273. That you've got it like right there. So you've shown it once. That is fine. Okay. Now, the ending is we can get, we got to get the triangles. Now, remember with the triangle, you're doing base times height. So once you think about it, this base from here to here is what? 10. There's that number. If it's 10 on this side, it's 10 on this side. What is the height? 12. So, Base times height divided by 2, 10 times 12 divided by 2 with my fat marker. And if you don't divide by 2, yes, your answer is going to be incorrect. Um, it is 60 for this triangle and 60 for that triangle. In the end, when you add it all up, I got 876 centimeters squared, and it is a triangular prism. Okay, now, the only way, the main way to practice, like to get any better at this, is to just practice. and. Now that maybe you learn something, maybe it's like that's a 13, that's 13, stuff like that. Now hopefully you won't make that mistake again. Stuff, stuff like the triangle, divide by two. What we are going to do is just practice some more. That's all we can do. Um, what I'd like for you to do is I'm going to give you this class work homework. And <laughs> Now, basically, we are just going to practice today the same concept, the same learning target, finding the surface area of various 3D shapes. I will say, in case you didn't get this before, that the, of course, the two formulas you're going to need for sixth grade for surface area is going to be an area of a rectangle or a square, which is base times height, and the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by two. Friday's 100 point test will have on it volume, which is for Monday, and all this surface area stuff which we're continuing to practice. We did Tuesday, we'll practice Wednesday, and we'll practice tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll kind of do like a review sheet, okay? So, first off, this one is a little different. I can't lie. It has no numbers, 
Yeah, I'm just hoping that you're not sitting here counting every single box. I am hoping that, yeah, five by five is 25. Now, do y'all see that? Okay, and then every box is 25. Now, if it does not have a measurement, like feet or inches, then we're just going to call it units. Squared. Now, how many units is it? 150. 150. 150 units squared. And the shape is cube because they are all equal. Okay? So, what I would like you to do is this. I would like for you to start on number two, and then we'll kind of compare answers in a minute. Okay? So, there is number two. Okay, kind of be working on it. I'm going to start working on it myself. Yeah, 7.4, and that number is 3.1. Okay, I've been sitting here a few minutes. This We actually worked it. It worked. It paused. Okay, so the way you would check this is by first looking in each little box. I do need you to double check. Do you have the math? Okay, you can't just have a bunch of numbers. So, when we add all this up, we would get 150.88 centimeters squared. And that thing is a rectangular prism. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do, like, if you have a, like, ask me, if you have a question, how I got what I got. Okay, listen, you, this one has, the two boxes are different than the other two boxes. Does anybody have a question on this one? Uh-huh. 37? Okay, so that, like, if from here to here is 5, from here to here is also 5. So that one is 5. 7.4 is that one. And that's been the hardest thing to get for most kids. Uh-huh, 150.88. Does that help a little bit? So like this one, I did 7.4 times that, 3.1. Okay, go ahead and start the next one. If, you've, if you're done with number two, start number three. Anybody have a question on number two? I don't mind. Okay. Number three. Okay, we're going to pause again. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the final answer anyway. Um, looking at this thing, so the top and the bottom rectangles ended up being 5.4s times 8.2s. The length, I need you to look if you didn't get that. Look, look, look. This wall right here is the same as that wall. That 5.4 is up here. So it's 5.4 times 8.2. Something's up. It should be 7.8 times 9.7. There's your height. Divided by 2. Where's 8.2 at? Oh, that's that line. That, has, that line has nothing to do with that triangle. Okay, in the end, if you add it all up, okay, and if you got a question, ask me. I don't mind. Um, which part? The triangles would be a 7.8, that's your base, 
and your height is right here, 9.7. So 7.8, oops, it's over here, 7.8 times 9.7, but divided by 2. This is my triangle math. So add it all up, I get 228.18. Centimeters squared, and it's a triangular prism. 37.83. What two numbers are you using for your base and your height? Listen, are you talking about the triangle? I want you to look. Look, this right here is your base, right? Okay. Right, 7.8. You got to move that wall over there. Okay. Listen, this is about the minimum amount of work that you can have. Like, I need three formulas with the work. If you have more, that's fine. But you, the minimum you can have is those three. I think you get that. Okay. I'm going to do, is everybody good on that one? Any questions? How I got it? What I did? Anything? I do not mind. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of move over to this number four right here. I'm going to kind of pause it, work on it. Here we go. Some unpause. Um, I kind of zoom in so everybody can see it real quick. Why it unzoom, but whatever. Okay, so I started out by seeing that these are, uh, there we go, two by threes. So sixes, I got two by sixes, which is twelves, three by sixes, which is eighteen. So, the final answer, what'd you get? Seventy-two centimeters squared. And it is a rectangular prism. Prism? Prism. Oh, that one. Prism. No divide, yeah, these are all rectangles. No divide by two. <coughs> okay, now listen. The, the skinny strips. Hey guys, listen, did you get the skinny part? Did, who just, I thought you just said you didn't get the skinny strips. Okay, look, it is a two right there. But going down is that measurement, two by six, because from here to here is six. Okay. These are a two, and then looking across, you got to move that measurement up. Two by three is that. Okay. You got to be able to move the walls around. I don't know how else to call that, but it's the numbers on the walls. Now, the last two is basically what I've left most classes. I had one class who didn't make it this far. But um, your homework is to finish five and six. Six has a key word, which is cube. They don't ask you to draw it, but there should be some math to be able to get a surface area of this. You can draw it. That's fine. Or, like, but there should be something there. Give me some formula. Give me some. Okay. That is your homework. And then tomorrow we'll go over these two. Okay. The classes that didn't get the other ones, I'll go over those also tomorrow. In case you don't watch the video. Okay. Study formulas.